Hey guys, it's Eagle Shadow, and today I'm bringing you a saucer tutorial. The saucer, or UFO, does exactly what you'd expect it to do, abduct things. But besides that, the saucer is also specialized for speed, and is one of the fastest mechs in the game. As a result, it is very lightweight and has low armor and HP. However, it can work well in all game modes, including all PvP modes, survival, and capture the flag. Today I'm going to bring you two specialized saucer builds, the Abduct Saucer and the Death Ray Saucer. And I'm also trying out this new stat card, so let me know what you think. Now let's get right into the saucer's abilities. The saucer has the most unique abilities of any mech in the game. Its first ability is a blink ability, which allows it to boost away from anything that's attacking it. So if you're over here and you're being attacked by units and you run low on health, you can just land, press the right mouse button, and you will blink away. And this makes you faster than any mech in the game, so you won't be able to be chased away. It's good if you're low on health and need to escape. The second ability is a death ray ability. This is the ground ability, so you just hold the right mouse button while you're on the ground, and it activates this beam that shoots uh, at enemy units and kills them very quickly, as you can see. That ability also drains energy, so you want to be mindful of that. The third ability is the coolest ability for the saucer, in my opinion. It's the abduct ability. So all you do is you hover over an enemy or neutral unit, and it will automatically start abducting it. So once there should be a circle that goes around it, and once it's fully abducted, um, it will turn to your team's unit. So it's great for harassing and... Uh, stealing enemy units. The fourth ability is the blast wave that decreases enemy units damage output. So if I were to land here and press the middle mouse button while on the ground it will activate this yellow ring which shows that all the units in the area have lowered damage output so it's great for um, stopping pushes that are going towards your base. And the last ability is the ultimate saucer ability which is a unit teleport so all you do is you fly anywhere and press the middle mouse button while in the air and it will bring this unit from your build queue into your carry automatically no matter where you are on the map as long as it weighs less than your total carry capacity you can bring it and it's great for dropping and uh, saving your energy so that you can do a sneaky cheese harass or uh, drop at the base. So these are the saucer's abilities. The last three just increase creep spawns, gives you a guardian, and increases your in-game experience. So these are the saucer's abilities. There's kind of a general build you want to do for parts for the saucer no matter what specialized build you are going to play, so I'll go over that first. The obvious pilot would be Alien, the mech's maker, I mean aliens fly saucers, and its stats are specialized for the mech's strengths with speed and abduct speed buffs with very little negative stats. However, the Alien is not readily available for most players, and there's no great replacement for the Alien, so you kind of have to just use what game play style you want to have. So for instance, Mako is good because it gives more damage resistance and it actually its negative is a good thing for new saucer players because the negative airspeed allows the saucer to be more easily maneuvered and it's better for microing units and you also won't die because of the damage resistance. You could also play for instance, as Tycho, if you want ground speed, if you're playing as a death ray, uh, Go is pretty good. And uh, Natasha is actually not that great for the saucer. It does have good transform and air speed, but the saucer is actually one of the most energy efficient mechs because it is so lightweight. So its flight energy efficiency isn't really that good, and the negative build speed isn't great either. So for the items... There's the Evo headphones, which aren't readily available either, but they give you a plus abduct speed, which is always great. And if you don't have that, you could always use Inversion Pigs, which gives more speed buffs. If you like speed, Jingle Bells also gives speed. And there's actually a funny unit, the uh, Dog Tags, which actually 
give unit abduction resistance. So you definitely don't want your enemies to have this if you are an abduct saucer. And the uh, guardian I would choose is the energy guardian so that you can blink more, um, fly more, and death ray more as well because you'll have more energy. You could also choose the blaster guardian if you do not want more energy. Now let's get into parts. So, I would choose the quick charge saucer quick charge core for its extra recharge rate. The energy capacity isn't a big deal, especially if you're using energy guardians. And any of the blueprinted turbines would be good because they give airspeed as well as more flight energy efficiency and negate that energy capacity as well and have no real bad negatives. I wouldn't really choose any weapon parts. There aren't any good ones for the saucer because you won't use your saucer guns that much since they are pretty weak. As for structural parts, alien metal, if you have it, is always good on any mech, and servos is good for speed. You definitely will be transforming a lot if you are a death ray saucer, so you could also choose boosted actuators. Uh, the heavy stuff and engine armor kind of go against the saucer's speed, so I wouldn't really use them. As for special abilities, special parts, I would choose any of the efficiency chips because they give good transform speed. And then for your second special part, there are a lot of specialized saucer parts. For instance, if you like to blink, there's a blink booster. Um, if you like XP, there's an alien artifact which gives XP. There's also a reprogrammer which gives more abduct speed. There is an abduction jammer which is abduction resistance. Not really good for a saucer, obviously. And uh, you can have more death rate damage or more death rate energy efficiency depending on what you want to do. So any of those will be good and I just won that roll. Here we go. That is a good end to the saucer parts. Thanks for watching and now let's get into the special ability builds for the saucer. Alright, so your first specialized build is the abduct saucer build. So no matter what build you have, you always want to buy this blink ability, your first ability, as soon as you start the game in the pregame. Because that way you survive twice as long. Because no matter how low health you are, you can always get away as long as you have some energy and the blink ability. And then, next thing you want to do is get to level 2 as soon as possible so you can get your abduct ability. So at level 2 you can get it. And then you can immediately start harassing. So what you can do is grab some units like these and then drop them and then just hover over an enemy unit and start abducting it. That way the, the uh, mech has to choose between either stopping these units that are attacking an outpost or whatever units they are attacking or picking up your unit to stop it from being abducted. Either way, you're either going to neutralize an outpost or get a free unit. And as you can see, I was able to do both here. So the thing that's good about abducting, that's even better than uh, killing units, is that it not only uh, gets rid of, say, a tank costs about 6,000 credits. If you were to kill it, the enemy would lose about 6,000 credits, and you would gain nothing because you wasted your time killing units. But if you abduct it, not only does the enemy lose 6,000 credits, you also gain 6,000 credits and a free tank that doesn't cost you any build time besides the amount of time it costs to abduct and abducting is usually even faster as you can faster than killing a unit as you can see at abduct level one I was able to really quickly abduct a unit so that's pretty much all you do I mean once you set up like a preliminary uh, middle like a uh, middle fight units you can immediately start abducting stuff and if you come across a case like this, what you want to do is always abduct the anti-air first. So once you abduct the anti-air, the, uh, there's nothing else that can harm you in the air. And as you can see, I was able to blink away because I was low on health. And that striker cannot chase me because I was blinking away. And then you can just come back and do it again and blink away. And no matter how low health you are, you'll always escape while abducting, which is why you need that blink ability. You really shouldn't be landing too much while, while you're an abduct saucer. Um, so 
rather than supporting your units, you should be focused on dis uh, abducting the other team's units, which is twice as good as destroying them. So, just keep abducting units. And if there's no anti-air units like there are here, you can easily just grab a tank and place it on the other side so the enemy units can't uh, attack it. And then take another one, abduct it, put it far away from the enemy units, and keep abducting. And you can do this as lo long... You can take every single tank as long as the enemy mech doesn't respond. And if you're able to kill the enemy mech, you can take whatever units you want. As you can see, I just totally took that outpost because the enemy did not respond quickly enough to my harass. And now I have four tanks there, so all I need to do is blink over some creeps, or I could have built some infantry and now I have this outpost that's already fortified and it took me maybe 15 seconds so if the enemy is not good at responding to your harass you can quickly take over a match and especially if an enemy pushes against your base with little anti-air and you're able to kill them you can abduct their push and send it right back at them so that's really the strength of an abduct saucer build. Now let's go into the ground saucer build, which is the death ray. One quick note about the saucer. If you're about halfway done abducting a unit, but then get low on health and have to run back to your base, that unit will still be halfway abducted when you come back. So you can quickly go back to your blink back to your post and finish abducting your unit. And that way, as long as the enemy doesn't reset, the abduct time by picking it up, the abduct time will very slowly go down too. You can go back and abduct it very quickly and not have to waste time abducting a new unit all over again. The ground death ray saucer build has a very similar opening to the abduct saucer build in that you always want to buy the blink ability first and then get to level 2 as quickly as possible, but this time you're going to buy the death ray ability. So as I mentioned before, the death ray ability allows you to land and hold the right mouse button, which charges up a death ray. It has very limited range, but it is very powerful, especially at higher levels. So what you want to do for the death ray ability is put a unit in front of you, such as this tank, and then stand right behind it so that you don't take as much damage while the tank takes it. And then you can death ray that unit and very quickly kill it in unison with that tank. And then when you're low on health, you just transform very quickly and blink away back to your outpost and rinse and repeat. So this is an amazingly sh powerful build, especially if you have high damage resistance, such as this Mako build that I'm using. And if you use the right parts that give you more death rate damage and increase your energy efficiency, you can death ray for a long time as long as there's not a lot of anti-air or uh, mech presence. And even if there is, you can quickly blink away and build more tanks and continue to death ray. So this isn't as a harass heavy build as the uh, abduct the abduct build is because it's more focused on the. Uh, the units and the killing of other units at, especially at the mid so as you can see the roller or maybe a buster as well is a very good unit to have in this build because it will just go right ahead and uh, tank the damage of all the units while you just stand behind it and walk behind it and kill all the units so I really like using a roller or a grinder or even a buster in these types of builds and then you always want to get the second ability as soon as possible and just continue to pump out units at the mid and then uh, land and shoot behind it. It's a very simple build. I mean, and the death ray is also really good at defending from pushes. So if your enemy is pushing, you can just stand behind one of your main frontline units and just uh, shoot the units and kill them, or death ray them I should say, and kill them as they come lining up to you one by one for, to their death. So the death ray is a really good offensive ability, but it's an even better defensive ability. And it's so good because unlike the Neo where you stasis and then you have to wait a few seconds before you can cloak away, you can immediately go from death raying to being up in the air and blinking away back to your post. So it's almost impossible to die, especially with more damage resistance. So I really like this build and I think you should try it as well. 
So that's all I have for my saucer tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I tried a lot of new things here. I know it's been a long time since I made a tutorial, but so many people have been asking for it that I decided what the heck I might as well. And so I put a lot of effort into it and let me know if you guys want more. I was going to wait till after beta to finish all my mech tutorials and other things, but I figured I might as well give you at least one so you guys don't all hate me. And uh, I might do another one in a few weeks as well. Let me know what mech you want to do. I've heard a lot of Paladin requests. Um, the Saucer was definitely the most requested. I can also do Osprey, uh, whatever mech you guys want that I haven't done. Or I could also work on my advanced tutorial if that's what you guys want too. So I hope you guys liked it and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.